Finally, let's talk about the notes in the violin string. So remember, we have four strings. The lowest one and thickest one is G, D, A, and the highest one and thinnest one is E string. Today, I'm going to talk about the D string and then where we need to drop our fingers on D string so we play the notes on D string. I draw D string right here and the invisible scales which you cannot see on your violin but we'll see uh, where the notes are located on the D string by these scales, okay? Now, just remember half step is one step, whole step is two steps, and except for E and F and B and C, anyone else is whole step, okay? Just remember that. So, what's the next note after D? Do you remember? After D is E. And I want to know where the E is, how we can play E. We're going to drop first finger on D string. And my question is, where? D and E, is it half step or whole step? D and E is whole step, right? D and E is two steps, whole step. And also, D and E is not half step, so it's whole step. Whole step is two step, so I go here, one, two step. So you drop index finger, which is your first finger on D string, then you play E. Next note will be F, D, E, F. So you play F with the second finger. You're going to drop second finger right next to or farther. E and F is half step, so only one step. You drop second finger right next to each other. Make sense? And now, next will be G. F, G is whole step. FG is not a half step, so that is whole step. Two steps. One, two. You drop your third finger, your ring finger, farther to play G. Now, next note will be A. G A is whole step. Two steps. So you drop your pinky, your fourth finger, one, two step, farther from third finger to play A. So this is the finger pattern on D string. Let's try dropping fingers on D string. So we play E, F, G, A with first finger, second finger, third finger, and fourth finger. Hold the violin. Let's try. After you hold the violin, you're going to drop your index finger on D string. That's E. Because D and E is whole step, not at the back here, you can just naturally drop there if you put your hand in the middle of the violin neck, not too low, not too high, in the middle, then just drop your first finger there, that will be E. And then next note will be F, to play F, you drop second finger right next to first finger, because E and F is half step, only one step, so you drop right next to each other. And next will be G, F, G is whole step, 
So one, two step. You drop third finger farther from second finger. Then you play G. Last note will be A. G A is whole step. So close each other or farther. You drop pinky farther. So you play E, F, G, A on D string. After you drop all four fingers on D string, I want you to do some exercise. I call that exercise dropping fingers. We are doing on D string right now. So before we do dropping fingers on D string, slightly off all four fingers. Keep the hand shape, keep that finger pattern, and then exercise first finger, drop five times. E, 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 E. And F, 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 F. G farther. And then A farther. And relax your hand. E and F half step so you put together and second and third finger f g whole step so be apart from each other and your third finger g pinky a whole step same apart from each other so this is the finger pattern on the e string. I want to check the notes that we just tried on the violin in music staff. So we can play E with the first finger on the e string. We play F second finger on D string, G, third finger on D string, A, fourth finger on D string. Everything was on D string. Now in the music staff, there's a treble clef. Looks like this, stirred between second line and third line. Make a circle, touch the first line going up and touch the fourth line in the middle and then make a beautiful curly line and then meet in the fourth line again and going down, make a beautiful circle here. This is a treble clef. So there is a joke that we call, you know, violinist, we call ourselves like a treble maker. Did you get that joke? <laughs> we are a treble maker. <laughs> the note D in the music staff is right below the first line we play D with the open string D of our violin so open string D we don't drop any fingers so it's marked as number zero so when you see the number zero in the music book or music uh, paper, that means you don't drop any fingers to play this D. And next note will be E on the first line. How you can play this note? By dropping first finger on the E string. Next, F is on the first space. You can play this note 
by dropping second finger on D string. G is on the second line. When you see this note, you know how to play this note by dropping third finger on D string. And last, when you see the note on the second space, you know this note is A now and play by dropping fourth finger on D string. And also you can play this note A by playing open string A. So we mark open string as number zero. So you can play A same note in two ways by dropping your pinky on D string or just play open string A. You're done for today. Uh, practice dropping fingers on D string with the finger pattern. So first finger on D, E, second finger on D, F, right next to each other because E and F is a half step. And then drop third finger further to play G because F and G is a whole step, two steps. And then play A further. So practice dropping fingers on D string each time five times. And make sure your knuckles, your finger knuckles moving here. Okay. And your fingertip will touch the D string firmly. And make sure your wrist doesn't move. Okay, so keep the wrist nicely, beautifully straight. And remember, when you hold the violin, elbow come out. Your elbow stay at the front of your body. Okay? Okay, so have a nice practicing time and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye! Thank you.